What's up guys? We are going to talk about spacer rings today. Spacer rings are used with mortise cylinders, typically on narrow style glass doors or on metal doors with a mortise lock mechanism on it. It's very common to see this on the commercial side. If you order or if you keep mortise cylinders in stock aftermarket like Ilco or LSDA, which most of us do, or GMS, when you order mortise cylinders, they do not come with a spacer. Now, while not really a security risk, it is a visual thing because, of course, you've got a either chrome or dark brown, dark bronze color face of your cylinder, and then the cylinder is a bare brass, and then you've got your face of the door itself before it screws into the lock. So if you do not have a spacer ring to fill that gap visually, it looks just horrible so and it also kind of seals it a little bit better against maybe moisture coming in the door as well like i said physically it's not that big of a deal however you will need to keep a certain stock of spacer rings on hand if you do any type of commercial work whatsoever so i'm going to use a little whiteboard here for just a minute and talk about the three most common sizes of spacer rings that you're going to need 5 30 second it starts off now these are available through ilco through GMS, through um, Keydex. We're gonna talk about security rings towards the end of this. And uh, one other place, I can't remember offhand who. Uh, the aftermarket companies, the ones that come with doors, come with spacer rings. I don't know who makes those. But uh, 532 is gonna be your smallest size really that you need. Now, they do make an eighth inch, and it is good to have some eighth inch because as you get up into maybe oddball size trim plates, sometimes you do have to stack a couple of spacer rings to make it fit on if you have a really long cylinder, like a best for some reason. Sometimes you will need to use a, a, a stack or one size and then another smaller size. So there is eighth inch and I'm, I, did, I left that out as in my three because it is kind of an uncommon, it's just a good idea to keep a eighth inch size because Having that little bitty tiny gap may help with the alignment of the cylinder. But the most common size is going to be the 532nd, the quarter inch, and then the 3 8 532nd also is kind of used as a filler for uh, inch and like quarter cylinders. Sometimes you need to use a 3 8 and a 532nd to stack it out. Some people hate that. Some people say that's what adjustable cylinders are for, but sometimes you have a longer cylinder that even an adjustable cylinder will not work with. But quarter inch, if you have a one inch cylinder, which is the most common if you're using a five pin key on narrow style doors, your quarter inch spacer is going to be your big one. That's the one you're going to go through a lot of because it will fill the gap on a one inch cylinder to a standard narrow style door. And then three eighths, you will need the three eighths if you jump up to an inch and an eighth mortise cylinder, which of course is a six pin style cylinder. You cannot have a six pin key and a five pin or a one inch cylinder because it's too long. If you need to use a six pin key, you would have to upgrade to an inch and an eighth cylinder. Thus, you would have to upgrade to a three eighths spacer ring, which most of the time, again, on narrow style doors will work pretty effectively to fill the gap between the face of the cylinder and the door itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in the camera. We're gonna talk about a few different ones, some that come with cylinders and some security rings. So let's take a look a little bit closer at them. Well, we have a whole lot of spacer rings laid out here. I thought about doing this video because the spacer rings in my truck were in horrible condition. I had them just thrown in, you know, boxes, kind of like this. They were all just kind of thrown in, all mixed together. And I started pulling them out little by little, and I was like, good Lord, this is crazy. And then I thought, hey, we need to talk about spacer rings. Uh, number one, Ilco spacer rings is usually what I get. Now, these are aluminum. There are metal versions of spacer rings. Let's take this one that comes with Sargent, also Alloy. typically sends these with their cylinders. They send it, um, they started sending them in these plastic bags but they used to come with a cardboard sleeve i have here it is cardboard sleeve this is commonly how you used to get them and you pull it out make sure you don't spring yourself in the face with the cylinder and you notice this one is flared out a little bit more whereas these are straight we can hold that back up and see what we mean by that we've got kind of a concave or outside concave edge 
and then these are straight up and down. So typically on narrow style doors, I would just use these. Now on, uh, I'm gonna do a separate video on these aluminum. These are the cylinders that come with narrow style doors now, and uh, they just don't hold up because of the material. But they do come with this little spacer or blocker ring. And if we hold it up to one of the Ilco version, we see it's a lot bigger. I'm talking about the size because sometimes on some doors where your door comes up against a stop and you have an inch and an eighth back set, which is what is common on this. This is inch and an eighth back set. So say here's your stop on your door and your door swings shut like this. So you do not have a whole lot of room to put some of these bigger, like this an adjustable collar. So we have this on the door and you see how close that already puts that to the edge. So, you know, some on some door installations it would hit. And I've seen them, you know, file down or cut to make work and that's just not a great idea. So sometimes you're left with no choice but to use these. And I, and I typically use these because again, it's not a security issue. It's more of a filling the gap, filling the, to make it look good up against the door as in this one. So if you had this, say a five pin SC1, and uh, this cylinder wore out, these usually on heavy use, these will wear out easily within a year. And you come in and you order an LSDA cylinder. I think this is either LSDA or Ilco or G. It looks more like a GMS to me. Obviously it's had some issues there. Um, you can take that ring off of the other one and use on that one inch because they are both one inch cylinders. And what that does is it basically, like I said, covers up the hole. Now the bigger flared ones are really good if um, your hole is a bit bigger than it should be. But on factory prep doors, this should cover your hole just like this would. If it's a perfect, you know, in a perfect world, that's the case. So you can take the one from the cylinder that's on the door and use it. However, if not, uh, for one inch cylinders again, we will come down here. This is our quarter inch size. And we can see that the quarter inch, it's a little bit taller than, than the other one, but that's okay. Cause you do have a little bit of the leeway in your, in your screwing in. So it can be just a bit off quarter inch typically is what works for me on the one inch your mileage may vary but that's just one of the things that works for me when you jump up to the inch and an eighth cylinder which is what this is the uh one, the quarter inch is going to be too too short it's still going to stick out a bit because of course you can't screw it all the way in uh, because it'll hit your inner part right there um, so then you have to jump up to the three eighths size which is this and while I've got this dark bronze here, I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to yell at Ilco or anybody else who does a 10B finish. As we can see, this is horrible. If I got an Ilco cylinder, it would be this color, and the Ilco spacer ring is lighter colored. It's just horrible. It really pisses me off that they can't get this 10B finish matching closer. That would drive me crazy if it was on my door. Just had to throw that out there. Um, so, uh, and then when you jump up to like inch and a quarter, we've talked about Hagar. So here we have an inch and a quarter cylinder. It's of course just a bit longer. And, uh, at that point where you would maybe need to use a, uh, if you can use one, you can use a, uh, a adjustable, but you can see even that is going to be not quite right because it still pushes it further away. So that's where I was mentioning the eighth inch or the five thirty seconds. Here we have a five thirty seconds. So that's sometimes you do have to get a three eighths and a five thirty second and just stack them. Well, that's actually chrome, but you know what I mean. There we go, and stack them up like this. Now you know it's not as pretty, but it's just something you have to do sometimes. Now as far as the adjustable style, you've got you can order adjustable. Also, I will note, these are all aluminum, so they're less expensive. They do make metal versions of these, but they're horribly expensive. When you factor in quantity and the price point for each one and the, the, the necessary need for it to be metal, it doesn't really need to be metal. Stainless steel, if you're using it on a, a stainless steel trim plate, would look a lot better. But most doors are going to have this aluminum, oh, no, 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 don't fall, aluminum finish. Now, 
You see these in the bags here. I put these individually in bags because the dirt on your fingers will actually just really get onto this aluminum. So as soon as I get a bag of 10 in, I bag them up individually until needed. Now, Sergeant or SI Obloy cylinders will come with this stainless steel. So you're paying a lot for the cylinder, but you're getting a much better trim ring with it at least, or spacer ring. And we can see, I've seen this done all sorts of ways, but there is a small side to this ring and a big side. The small side would go up against the inside face. The bigger side would go there for an effective fit. And ideally, it will provide a surface that's smooth enough so that it couldn't be grabbed with vice grips and scrunched out. But we see on this inch and a quarter cylinder, it is still got too much thread. So at that point, you'd have to come in with one of your other rings and space it out like so. So you still need multiple sizes of spacers. And on the topic of security rings, we have uh, two or three different manufacturers. This one uh, is major. They come in the chrome and the dark bronze. So they come in a five pack or individually, and there is a couple of different sizes, but they will come with what's called a wave, or I call it a wave washer, and a steel blocking ring that I dropped. And what this wave ring does is it allows you to have an adjustable type mechanism so that it will kind of fit some better than others. Now we see our 10B finish here matchup is a lot better. Not, not ideal, not great, but it is way better than it was. Zoom back out there. I keep forgetting to zoom out. And uh, having that adjustable little ring in there definitely helps as far as the gap. Also, this is, uh, I believe this one's metal. I'm not pretty sure it's metal. This is what helps against wrench attacks. And, and for those who don't know, you can, there's an attack that lets you, you know, twist these out and open the door. Very destructive. It'll mess up the cylinder. It's obvious it happens. But that protects against that. I don't sell a lot of these anymore because most break-ins on glass doors, people literally smash their car through. But this is Jackson, so that's how it happens here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you do have some oddballs and assortments. Now, some people are going to say, why don't you buy the kit? There's a kit that you can buy. It's got all these sizes of rings in there. I've never bought a kit. Um, I think I've looked at them before in the past, and this one's not, this one's way bigger. I don't know what this one's for. It looks like a mogul cylinder. But uh, some of them in this kit are this silly vinyl stuff right here. And I don't really believe in, hey, how are you? Sorry about that. So I don't really believe, I can't remember where I was, but I don't really like the idea of using those vinyl collars. I just, they, they get brittle and they get rigid and fall apart. Um, and then there's a few oddball ones. Corbin Rust one actually used to come with these, depending on how long the cylinder was. If you got an inch and an eighth cylinder, you will have this two piece style uh, ring. And it is kind of designed to be an adjustable as well. If you push in, it kind of presses in these little, whatever these knockout things are, they are flexible. So that gives you a little bit of an adjustment. And depending on which cylinder it came with, would come with this extra accessory ring or a thicker version of that, just depending on which length cylinder you got. But I believe that is the old style. I don't think they issue you those anymore. I think they are all this style, which while good does not work perfectly, you still need sometimes to add an extra little spacer in there. And uh, I think that's it. I do want to show off the major. The only dis thing, the thing I don't like about the kit X and the major um, is they, they don't hold up so wonderfully. Not great at all. And uh, it's just kind of a horrible finish. And sometimes the biggest problem that I've seen with these is the uncoated wave ring will rust up. And I think it's maybe a combination of the wave ring and this steel ring right here interacting possibly with the brass of the cylinder. And what will happen, this is how you were supposed to stack these, by the way. You're supposed to have the ring here, 
the wavering there against the inside. However, I have taken these off within like a year to rekit and I've noticed rust building up. It's very obvious on these rust will start building up. So that is one bad thing about using the Kedex is they just don't look good long term. However, that is the whole thing. I think I've covered everything on it. Again, let me back up just a bit and come over here. And again, I will point out while some people just say just use, you know, adjustable. Like I said, some, some doors, is, they're just not going to work with adjustable. You have to have that straight on approach that would be with these. So my two, three hints for this whole video. My whole purpose of this video is if you deal with commercial at all and you order GMS or LSDA or Ilco brand mortise cylinders to use, you need to also keep spacer rings. Just another one of those things that you need to keep on hand. And uh, at, at minimum, I would say uh, 5 30 seconds, quarter inch, and 3 eighths, a bag of each, which actually means two bags of each because you have dark bronze and you have chrome. So you don't have to order a bag. Some distributors will sell them individually. So if you do lower volume, of course, you would only need to order a few to keep on hand if in the event you cannot use what's already on the door. And sometimes what's on the door, as I found, I've had PVC pipe, <laughs> one size of PVC pipe, I don't know which one it is, inch and a quarter maybe, uh, cut down, very enterprising solution. Um, not pretty by any means, but it was effective in, I guess, concealing it or protecting it, but it, they didn't, they even, they didn't even cut it straight. It was like at an angle. So again, uh, 530, the, the most important one is quarter inch. Quarter inch is gonna be a big one. So if you're gonna order or have something on hand, you're probably gonna need the quarter inch. And then if you deal with a lot of inch and an eight stuff or six pin cylinders, you're probably definitely gonna need the three eighths size. And uh, 530 seconds, quarter inch, or uh, 530 seconds, and then uh, there is actually eighth inch. Sometimes they're harder to find. Some manufacturers like Yoko, I don't think has the tiny ones listed in some catalogs. So uh, whatever the case is, long story short is you gotta have spacer rings if you deal with cylinders at all. So again, just wanted to do a video on that because I've never done a video on it and it is an important part of the locksmith life, cylinder spacer rings. So thanks again for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments or if I was incorrect in anything that I said in this video, be sure and leave it in the comments. I know you guys will do that. So thanks again for watching and we will catch you next video.